Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 20th of November. Where I choose just one of our signals on our stock signals membership. Where we give potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. And similarly for short fifth wave trades on those same time frames. In the members area here, when we in the shorts for example, we would click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. So this is the shorts for the 20th of November. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll see 60 minute daily and the weekly. We're going to concentrate on the 60 minute time frame. Look for some shorts, uh, negative markets at the moment. Futures are negative during the European session for those US equity markets. So we are looking for another short. So let's have a look at one of these on a chart. So I've chosen CDEV from that scanner list on the 60 minute time frame. As you can see overall intraday here, we have a long term bearish trend and we've had a pullback against there. And that's what we're interested in right now. Those highs really form the start of this trend. And our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Think or Swim version. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts. Automatically labels the wave counts and then we've got our pullback zones there already printed in. So let's have a look and see uh, a little bit more closer at this wave four because this is what we really want to see and measure. So first of all, the filters for that stocks scanner membership. So we've had the wave four pullback. That's against the main trend. The main trend is bearish. Uh, we have that pullback, that wave four pullback into our automated probability zones. Now it's found initial resistance here in the green zone. That represents an 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones down here in blue, around about 1560, something like that. The next thing we look at, especially with those filters, is how this wave four performs. So we have the 535 oscillator here, which is the top of the three subcharts. This is pulled back between 90 and 140 percent of the highest point on the wave three and it's crowned. So it's looking good at this moment in time between our 90 and 140 percent, as you can see there. The next sub chart down is our false breakout stochastic. We have yellow dots formed on the oversold zone, denoting a strong bearish trend. Now it's pulled back against there. And now the likelihood is it wants to move back down. As you can see, we've got the red arrow on our stochastic as well, pointing down. Uh, also represented on the chart as well, indicating that we have got to a stage where we should see further movement down in price. So those are the filters. Let's have a look at a simple entry strategy here. So first of all, we want to be above the way for high for our stop loss. So that's at 17.75. The next is our entry. We need to be below this low of yesterday. Uh, we have that indecision at the open and then it went pretty much flat. So we want to make sure we're below this decision point in which traders said, no, thank you very much. I'm not going to sell off. Uh, so 1696, which is also below the whole $17 mark, looks really good for that potential short entry there on CDEV. With a target of around about 1560, it gives us a risk to reward of over 1 to 1.6 to the target zone. So great risk to reward, conservative entry for this short on CDEV on the 60 minute time frame. Again, I've been using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim version um, uh, platform uh, from TradeTheFifth.com and the signal has come from our signals and membership so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow